As our story begins, it's the night of October 30th, the night before Halloween. A police officer named Albrecht is at a crime scene where a man called Eric Draven was murdered, and a woman called Shelley Webster is close to death. A crow on a pole watches the whole scene, as a young girl named Sarah arrives to see Shelley being put into an ambulance. What happens next? This is Movie Shortens. Follow us today to the movie titled The Crow 1994. Be aware, there are spoilers. One year later, Sarah is walking into the church cemetery to place flowers at the graves of Shelley and Eric as the crow flies down and lands on top of Eric's headstone. As it starts to rain, Sarah talks to the crow and it calls at her as she walks off. The crow taps the top of Eric's headstone with its beak. Now we see Albrecht getting a hot dog from a local hot dog stand as Sarah arrives. He buys her a hot dog and they talk. Not too far away, a man known as T-Bird and his three gang members, known as Tintin, Funboy, and Skank, are smashing up an amusement arcade. T-Bird sets the timer on a bomb for 12 midnight. As the crow watches Eric's grave, the dirt starts to open up and Eric climbs out of the grave and screams, back from the dead. He wanders down a back alley following the crow. He's wearing only pants with no shirt or shoes. The crow lands on a dumpster where Eric finds a pair of boots. Back at the hot dog stand, T-Bird and his gang drive past just before the bomb explodes at the game arcade. Albrecht runs off to investigate. As Eric follows the crow, it leads him back to the apartment where he and Shelly were attacked one year ago. He finds their cat, though he thought it was dead. Eric starts having flashbacks of that fateful night. He cuts his hands on the broken window glass, but the cuts heal up immediately. Elsewhere, in a bar, T-Bird and his gang are getting drunk and swallowing bullets. Crazy. Back in the apartment, Eric is reminiscing over old times he had with Shelly. Then he uses some black makeup on his face. In a pawn shop owned by a man named Gideon, we see Tintin selling him some stolen property. As the crow flies over the city, Eric follows by jumping across rooftops until the crow stops and looks down at Tintin in the alley. Eric jumps down and they fight. Tintin likes to use knives, but this time it is he who dies from knives. Sarah goes to a hotel where her mother, named Darla, is sitting on Funboy's lap. Darla gives Sarah some money and she leaves. Eric is banging on the pawn shop door, but Gideon tells him to get lost. Eric breaks through the door and tells Gideon he's looking for an engagement ring. It's the one he gave to Shelly before they were killed. We flash back to the alley to see Tintin with seven knives in his chest, being carried away on a stretcher. A detective called Torres gives Albrecht a hard time. After Eric roughs up Gideon, he finds the ring then sets the pawn shop on fire. As he walks away, Officer Albrecht pulls a gun on him and Eric tells him that T-Bird and the other gang members are going to die. When Albrecht momentarily looks away, Eric disappears. Now we see T-Bird telling his boss, a man known as Top Dollar, about the death of Tintin. Grange, who is Top Dollar's assistant, tells him about the pawn shop fire. Top Dollar's girlfriend, known as Micah, is laying on the table. Elsewhere, Sarah is on her skateboard about to get hit by a taxi, but Eric grabs her and pulls her to safety just in time. She retrieves her skateboard and looks around, but he's already disappeared. Now, we see Funboy and Darla in a sleazy hotel room. Funboy is injecting drugs into Darla's arm as the crow appears at the window. The crow flies into a chair and Eric appears in the room. Funboy shoots Eric's hand and laughs but he stops laughing when the hole in Eric's hand closes up. He keeps shooting Eric, but the bullets don't stop him. Eric hits Funboy's hand and the gun shoots Funboy in the leg. Darla runs into the bathroom to hide as Funboy passes out on the bed. Eric then drags Funboy's body into the bathroom and puts him in the bathtub. He squeezes Darla's arm and as the drugs leak out of the needle holes, he tells her she has a daughter waiting for her. Darla grabs her clothes and quickly leaves, crying. Downstairs, Gideon is drinking at the bar. When Grange sees Darla running scared of the hotel, he goes upstairs to investigate and finds Funboy's body laying on the floor, with multiple needles sticking out of his chest. He sees Eric quickly disappear out of the window. Now, we're in Albrecht's apartment. He's in his shorts and a t-shirt. As he looks at an open window, Eric yells from behind him and he almost has a heart attack. Albrecht realizes Eric is back from the dead. Eric asks Albrecht what happened the night of their attack. He holds Albrecht's head and suddenly he sees everything that Albrecht saw that night. He sees Shelly clinging to life for 30 hours and realizes that Albrecht stayed by her side until she died. Albrecht tells Eric that he tried to catch the people responsible, but no one would help him after he and Shelly were killed. He tells Eric he's sorry, then Eric leaves. Grange has taken Gideon to see Top Dollar, who questions Gideon about Eric when he came to the pawn shop. Gideon is mocking Top Dollar until he stabs Gideon through the throat, then shoots him. Now the crow sees T-Bird and Skank outside a shop. As Skank goes in to get beers and snacks, T-Bird gets in his car, but Eric is in the back seat and puts a gun to T-Bird's head and tells him to drive. Skank sees this and as he runs out of the shop, a small red car hits him. 
Skank beats up the driver and takes his car. Meanwhile, Eric has a T-Bird driving over 90 miles an hour. Soon, the police are chasing the car. Skank pulls out of a lane right in front of the police car and they collide. Skank crawls away from the accident. T-Bird's car is parked near the wharves and Eric is taping him to the seat and setting a bomb in the back of the car. T-Bird suddenly recognizes Eric but can't understand how he can be here when he's dead. Skank sees the car explode as it leaves the wharf and flies through the air and into the water. We see Grange inspecting Eric's gravesite which is open from when Eric climbed out. Meanwhile, Sarah wakes up on the sofa while Darla is cooking her some eggs. Sarah is surprised to see her mother actually cooking her some food. At the police station, Detective Torres is not happy with Albrecht. He thinks Albrecht is withholding information so he puts Albrecht on suspension. Sarah goes to the apartment building where Eric and Shelley used to live. As she is walking upstairs, Eric is in the apartment burning all the old photos of he and Shelley. Sarah finds a half-burned photo in the fireplace. She's sure Eric is there, but he won't come out. As she's about to leave, he appears. She runs to him and hugs him. We then see Skank at Top Dollar's place raving about seeing Eric kill T-Bird. Sometime later, all of Top Dollar's men are sitting around a long table checking their weapons as Top Dollar addresses them from the head of the table. It's Devil's Night, and he wants them to go out and light a giant fire so everyone will see it. Suddenly, the crow lands at the other end of the table. Eric walks up to the table and sits on top of it. He wants Skank, but Top Dollar tells him he can't have him. He then tells all his men to kill Eric. They all open fire, shooting Eric, who falls backwards to the floor. But when they look, Eric is gone. Suddenly, he pulls one of the men under the table, then comes out shooting. A fierce gun battle ensues, and Top Dollar, Micah, and Grange make a run for it. After Eric has killed everyone except Skank, he picks Skank up and throws him through a window, where he falls to his death on top of a police car. As the police enter the room, Eric jumps out of the window. The building is surrounded by police. Albrecht, who is off-duty, arrives to see Eric trying to escape. As he drives off, he sees Eric jumping across rooftops as he's being followed by a police helicopter. He jumps from a building onto a pile of cardboard boxes just as Albrecht pulls up and tells him to get in the car. Then they speed off. When Albrecht stops for a moment, Eric disappears. As Top Dollar, Micah, and Grange drive away, Micah tells them there is a link between Eric and the crow. If they kill the crow, they can kill Eric. Eric goes to the church graveyard and finds Sarah asleep at Shelley's grave. He wakes her up and gives her Shelley's engagement ring. As Sarah walks away, she is grabbed by Grange and taken inside the church where Top Dollar and Micah are waiting. The crow sees them and Eric is aware that Sarah has been taken. Eric enters the church and the crow flies in and lands on a bench. Grange shoots the crow and it falls but is only injured. Now Top Dollar approaches Eric and shoots him in the shoulder and Eric falls to the ground. As Grange prepares to shoot the crow again, he is fired upon by Albrecht. As a gun battle rages between Albrecht, Top Dollar, and Grange, Eric tries to escape. Albrecht shoots Grange, then he finds Eric, who is badly wounded. As Albrecht climbs the stairs to the bell tower where Micah is holding Sarah, Micah shoots and wounds him. Eric then climbs the stairs to rescue Sarah. As he approaches Micah, who is holding the crow, she prepares to shoot Eric. But to her surprise, the crow starts pecking her eyes till she can't see. She crashes through a railing and falls to her death. Now we see Top Dollar holding Sarah on the church rooftop as Eric approaches. Top Dollar lets Sarah go and she falls and tries to hold on to the roof tiles. As they fight, Top Dollar stabs Eric with the samurai sword from behind and the sword goes right through his body and Eric drops from his feet. Top Dollar bends down and talks to Eric as he is about to stab Eric with the knife. But Eric quickly puts his hands on Top Dollar's head and lets him see the last painful moments of Shelley's death. Then Eric lets him go and he falls to his death, impaled on the horns of a gargoyle. Eric reaches down and pulls Sarah to safety. They walk down the stairs to where Albrecht is sitting badly injured. Eric asks Sarah to stay with Albrecht till help arrives, then he disappears. Eric falls down dying at Shelley's headstone. Suddenly she appears and walks up to Eric, bends down and kisses him. They're both finally at peace. The crow lands on Eric's headstone holding the engagement ring, and as Sarah walks up to the crow, he drops the ring in her hand. As Sarah turns and walks away, the crow flies off. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.